All right, hello guys, and welcome to basically another review. Um, this is gonna be the second one on the channel. It's honestly, I'm kind of happy for it since the last one actually kind of got a subscriber. So, you know what? Fuck it. I didn't really think I was gonna do another one, but fuck it. I have the time, I think I have the memory for this. So, and I got more figures after this one. I got like four more, got one on the way, but anyways. Today we are reviewing, I will be reviewing, the SH Figure Arts Son Goku, the, as you can see right here, is the, I think you can barely see it, the Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Goku, more specifically however, it is the, it's actually a re-release, believe it or not, this like, this version of Goku, the Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan, or Super Saiyan Blue Goku, is actually a re-release. This was released for the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. So this is the yeah, because there is a there's a different mold of of the Super Saiyan Blue. More specifically, is basic basically the, the only real difference from what I can remember the mold is that the hair is not spiky. It's just basically just it's just regular Goku hair with just just blue. While the Broly movie or the Broly version movie is the more commonly known Super Saiyan hair that's all spiky and stuff or at least the Super Saiyan 2 form I don't remember anyways uh, as you can see oh I should probably move this to the side so you can see the box and it's a pretty small box it's pretty thin actually oops I made it all the way to the back oops it's all the way to the back as you can see here is Goku and of course you saw right here there's the name there's the sticker. There's, of course, like Funimation and warning and stuff. It's cool. Bandai. As you can see, it's Dragon Ball Super. There's the Toei logo. Some Japanese letters. And of course, there is. Um, I should lift it up a little bit. There is, of course, Goku hold with a fist, doing a Kamehameha. In the the back of his gi. It's his figure Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Son Goku. Then on the back, you get some promotional shit. Um, you get some promotional shit, which is kind of cool. That's actually kind of cool. Let me move it a little bit back. Warning. Get some poses. You get more poses. Let me zoom out. There we go. And I think that should be it for the box. And over here is clear. You're supposed to open it from this side, I think. But I opened it from this side, so fuck it. Anyways, enough with the box since I spent like 30 minutes on it. Now let's get to look at the figure. And the figure is actually pretty good. I actually do like this figure. It is a re release to the Super. Again, like I said, it is a release to the original Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Goku, which was released for the. I think it was released during the Dragon Ball Resurrection F movie, which was 2013. I don't remember when it came out. Anyway, here it is. As you can see, I like this. I like this like cool little like blue detail on the Super Saiyan blue hair. You can barely see it. It's really shiny and metallic. It's spiky, which is awesome. As you can see, we can see a bit of the. As you can see, the um, the gi, orange, nice bright orange, with the with the dark blue right underneath it. It's actually you can actually kind of move well, this just the chest piece, but yeah, you can actually kind of move, which is kind of cool. The boots, which are cleanly painted, see this it's really, really cool. And then on the back, you can actually see the symbol. On his back, which is kind of cool. Which I don't remember what it is. I think it's supposed to represent like comet. No, not comet. Um, a roach. The like the turtle house. I think that's. I think that's supposed to be like that's the name of the other dojo that they train. You can see. Oh, look at the spiky little detail on the back. It looks so fucking cool. Either way, yeah, like it's a really good sculpt. I really do like it. It basically does capture go. Uh, you can barely see the face. That's something I probably should have. See the face, which is... 
I have the angry face on, but yeah, it's it's a nice blue skull. But I like the little eye detail. Cool. Anyways, Goku here, like most figures, always comes with a couple of accessories. Um. <laughs> This usually is not really a oh this is usually a problem for myself mostly because I have a hard time, um, I have a hard time um balancing this guy. But that's mostly just my problem and not really um the figure's fault. Well, kind of it is since it doesn't come with since it gets, accessories are kind of basic. I think I'll show them to you right now. It's, there aren't that much, which is kind of disappointing, admittedly. You do get some alternate faces, you get mostly three of them. First and foremost, you get this. Let me zoom in. Angry face, which is kind of cool. Look at that. You can actually see a much clearer face right here. Look at how angry he is. And then next up, you have the yelling face again. Really, really cool. Really nicely detailed. And then the last one, which is going to be a pain in the ass to get out since it's on its own, is kind of a happy Goku face, kind of like a smirky face. Which is, which this, believe it or not, this is the default head that comes out with, that comes already in the figure. But I changed it to the angry one, which you already seen. So that's all. So you come with four different faces, which is actually pretty good. That's actually more than the Figma figures. You well, at least one more, one more um, face than the Figma figures. I put this off to the side, and then we come with. Then also he comes with seven different hands, which is uh, in the moderate amount. First of all, let me. I'm, damn it, it's kind of stuck. First of all, he comes with. Let me move this out of the way again. He comes with these little action hands, technically. Uh, well, technically, they're action hands. Yeah, they're technically action hands. They're supposed to be made for like the the traditional Goku, like I'm about to fight pose. You know? So there's that. It also comes with. What I like to call the 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 Kamehameha hands, because these are the Kamehameha hands. These are the kind of semi-spread hands. There are some spread hands, but these what I like to call the Kamehameha hands, since they're kind of like the clenchy hands. You know, again, kind of cool. And then, of course, like hey. Just spoiled for my why just spoiled for you guys is the damn it are these spread hands they're kind of bent backwards as you can kind of tell but they're kind of cool look at that the spread hand and not only that you also come with one last the seventh damn it the seventh and last hand oh, it's plastic anyways. Then you have this two finger hands. We can just shove it up your ass. Never mind. But what you can do is this is more of the. Uh, so it's supposed to be meant for like when he does the little instant transmission. At least one of the instant transmission. Oh, I, I guess in order to change hands, you can. Yeah, pop it right off. It's, it's a bit hard, but that's mostly just my finger. It's a little knob right there. And this only goes on to the. This is going to the left hand, and then you can have them um, kind of like that. You can have them do the into transmission pose. Really, really cool. So those are all of his accessories. Yeah, there aren't that many accessories. Being honest with you, that. Seven hands and four faces. Well, I guess technically three since one of he's already wearing. Oh, <laughs> I'm an idiot since I was showing the hand, the hands, the 
the faces I forgot uh, to show you in order to remove in order to change the heads take out this this little three um, hair you can remove his the initial three hair like that then remove this which will reveal two pickles like in the back and then with that you'll be able to up ah, I bought my fucking camera I bought my phone that's what I did and then there you go and then there's the two pickles on the back of the hair and there it goes to the top and then there um there you go and there you have him in another face cool right anyway that's that's all of the accessories and that's basically all you can all you can do with the accessories i'm gonna change his whoops i took out the entire peg ah oh, crap ah oh, crap whoops i took out the entire shit let me I took out the entire fucking hand. Damn it, I'm an idiot. Yeah, it's on a little hinge joint. It's also a pain in the fuck. It's a pain in the ass to get it on here. Come on, work with me. Me. There we go. Now then, <laughs> now that we have all of his accessories out of the way, yeah, it's kind of sad, really. Now we can get to the most important part, the possibility of Mr. Goku right here. Whoa. You can all see you can also see this kind of shiny here. Anyway. Now with the light on, now we're able to get to the possibility. There's a ball joint at the head, which allows for a pretty good degree of rotation. It can look up that far and can look down that far as far as it can go there is a ball joint at the base of the neck that you can barely see it you can barely see it like right there you can barely see it there is a ball joint at the chest so we should make we can make that basically he can arc that much and then go down that far not that much his arms have a good degree of rotation i think it's a ball joint connected to a hinge joint as you can see right there he can go out that far he can do a 360 all in these little pieces are are in a little hinge joint of themselves so they will to somewhat get out of the way he also has a oh i can turn it he also has a bit of a butterfly joint but it's kind of a bitch to go through but he does have a small butterfly joint, so you can make him move forward. He also has a bicep. He can also rotate his biceps. A double, a double hinge joint at the elbow. His his wrist can rotate. He can also move side to side, but rotating the peg will let, will get him to get will get some up and down movement. Also, this little skirt thing is on a board in front, I can remember. Or it's on a hinge joint. But it can do a full 360, so it can move out of the way. The leg can. Whoops. The leg can. I think it's on a ball joint. I don't not remember. But it can kick pretty far forward. Look at that. It can go pretty that far forward. And the leg can go back. Let me move out of the way. Can go back pretty fucking far. Look at that. It also has some panel lights here, so it'll make it seem like it's still part of the sculpt. He also has a not a good and no yeah an okay spread. Not much, but it's there. He also has a double jointed knee, which in the and the back looks really fucking ugly. Look how ugly that shit is. But it can move it this far back. Pretty good, pretty good. Oh yeah, I forgot there's a swivel right here. If you need it. If you need it right here, there's a swivel. There's a ball joint at the ankle. 
to the ball joint at the ankle. You can go a little bit forward, a little bit back, a bit of a pivot, and you'll have a toe bend. All in all, this is a pretty good set of um ball joints, which allows you to do a a lot of cool little different um um little poses. It's probably something I probably should do. You know what? Give me a second. Now let me turn it off. <laughs> let me turn it off because I'm probably losing my shit on my battery by doing it. You can. I'm thinking I'm putting it in the wrong hand. I'm gonna do a little pose while I make the while I get my thoughts on the figure. Overall, this figure is actually pretty pretty good, honestly. Or oh, actually, you know what? I'll cut until I actually get the fucking pose. Give me a second. And that's as good as I'm gonna do it with the little with the limited time that I have. <laughs> it's a cool little like him charging a little key attack. But overall, this figure is actually pretty good. Actually, it has a really good amount of articulation and poses. My only real complaint is that, at least for my figure, the head is a little bit too, you know, a little too shaky, uh, a little bit not sturdy. And also, I do have a personal problem with the feet. But overall, this figure is actually pretty, pretty good. If you're a if you're a Dragon Ball figure, this is an amazing collection. I actually got it for around forty dollars. Actually, well, mostly because they was actually on sale. At least the guy was giving it on sale, which was originally like ninety dollars, but then he gave it for, to me to like forty. <laughs> it was actually pretty good. And for the for forty bucks, you get you get a good amount of. You get an amazing figure. I love this head sculpt. I, honestly, I do love it really, really much. Anyways, I suppose this will be the end of this review. This has been the SH Figures Son Goku. And as always, if you enjoy, please, uh, <laughs> please tell me. <laughs> I'm, I, will, I mean, I'll continue doing it. Since last time, I actually got a subscriber from doing it, actually. So, who knows? Maybe I'll keep. I'll probably do. Um. Huh. Why? Well, um. I'll do Sayaka next, actually, since I do have a Sayaka Mickey figure. I'll probably do that one. So, I guess. I hope you like this video, hopefully. I hope you'll be able to tell me, please. <laughs> engage with me. I'm desperate. Anyway, this has been the SS Figure Art Son Goku. Actually, now that I think about it, give me a second. Before I leave off, well, I couldn't really find my measuring tape, so technically, I guess this will be the next best comparison. Here she, here he is, with last video's um, review toy, the mommy, the Figma mommy Tomoe, her little stand. It's kind of cute, and that's also another big complaint that I have about Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan about this figure. It does not come with a stand. Literally what you saw, the those are the only accessories you get. So anyways, I hope you like. Whoops. I <laughs> hope you like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I hope you enjoy. Uh, next time, probably I'll do a little companion of hers from the same series as hers. The Figma Sayaka Miki. Hope to see you guys. Then, peace.